Hello, Jasmine. Hello. How are you? I'm well. What about you? That's all good. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your day? I I went to the university and I tried to do my homework. Okay, it's good. Pretty good. What about Tatiana? How are you? How's it going? Hello, coach. I'm um, tired. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know it's it's late, and uh, I know you are. You work or or study or both. Uh, the work. Okay, work. I know it's difficult. Okay, what about Edwin? Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Fine. Fine. Very well. Thanks. Okay. And you? How are you? Yeah, it's all great. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for asking. Okay, so let us get started, right? Yesterday we had just a speaking practice, and today we are with uh, you, uh, the class number seven. And we are going to begin with unit three. Okay. The topic we have for today is we have a one topic to develop. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hello, David. Hi. How's it going? I'm fine, thanks. All right. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, so let us get started. So we have here a question, right, to begin with. What are they doing? We will see people doing different types of activities. Okay, for example, Edwin, what is she doing? She, she's taking photograph. Just taking photographs, exactly. Okay. What about you? Do you like to take photos or pictures? Yes, uh, a little bit. Okay. About yourself or your family or the places you visit? Um, uh, for, for my family and the place. Okay. That's good. Pretty good. Okay. What, what is the last place you visited? Or the last place you went to? Uh, in in this year, I I visit. What what do you say, volcan? Volcano. Vol volcano. You visited a volcano. Yes. Okay, that's good. Pretty good. Good for you. Let us see. Okay, Jasmine, help me with this one. What is he doing? He he's using the computer. He's using the computer, exactly. What about you? Do you have to use a computer in your job or study? Yes, I use him a lot because I I work there, and yeah. I. And I do my homework there too. Okay, okay. Uh, you use it for your work too? Yes. Okay, do you work in your house or do you go to the office? Uh, actually, I, I work like a community manager here in my house. Okay, that's great. 
Okay, let's see one more. Tatiana, what about this one? What is he doing? He's cooking. Okay. What about you? Do you like to cook? Yes, I like. Okay, are you a good cook or so-so, a um, bad cook? What do you uh, think? In my case, I like different, I like different cook. Um, uh, for example, I like, I like to cooking, sorry, I like cooking um, lasagna. Okay. Or, or swap. Soup. Soup, yes. Yeah. Okay, like what is your favorite soup? The one that you like? My no. favorite soup is, um, how do you say uh, mariscada? Uh, you can say like, uh, well, in general, you can talk about like seafood, but let me look for that specific word because I'm not really sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we can say, yeah, you can say like uh, a seafood soup. A seafood soup. Yeah, I will type it in the chat. Like that, seafood okay. soup. Okay. In general, uh, I like cooking seafood. Okay, uh, you can cook sea uh, seafood soup. Yes. Okay, that's that's great. I mean, that is uh, awesome. In my case, I cannot cook uh, maybe only like, I don't know, vegetable soup or something oh. like that. <laughs> is not... ve is ve se vegetariano? Ah, you can say uh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. No, I'm not vegetarian. What happens is that I, I cannot cook seafood as, as you. <laughs> I like <Okay>. it too. <laughs> All right. Um, what about David? What about you? Do you like to cook? Yes, I like to cook. Okay. Now, are you good at cooking or? What do you think? Are you good? I think I'm good cooking. Okay, that's good. What is your favorite dish or food? Uh, maybe meat. Meat. Uh, how do you say carne asada? How you can say I will type it and say like roasted beef. Mm -hmm. So roasted beef. Exactly. Okay. That's good. It's delicious too. Okay. I'm showing you this because today's topic will be the present progressive. We will learn two ways to use the present progressive. And uh, tomorrow we will be talking about a different use. Let's just review here. Maybe Edwin, maybe you can help me with this one. Just review the verb be, how we use it. Yes, let's review the verb to be. I am. You, we, they are, and he, she is. Exactly, this is just a review because we will use the verb to be in the present progressive, okay? Let's see when we use the present progressive. Uh, Jasmine, maybe you can help me with this one. The use of the present progressive. We use the present progressive to talk about action that are happening right now. Okay, that's the key here, right now, right? Actions that happen in the moment. Like the ones we were looking at, he's cooking, 
is taking photographs. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Tatiana, help me please with the timeline. Okay. When, Press, uh -huh. Repeat, please. Yeah, continue. continue. Okay. Present continuous tense timeline. Past, now, future. Um, she's singing a song now. Okay. So now, right? In so, the present. Now, yes. Exactly. In this moment, she's this singing moment. a song. Okay. And uh, what about you? Are you good at singing? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. No, no uh, or yes? <laughs> Uh, no, in this moment, I, I, I am, um, I don't know how to say it. You are taking class. Ah, uh, yes. Ah. I'm, I'm taking class. You're taking classes. You can say, uh, I am taking singing. You can say singing classes or lessons. Okay. Hay momentos que me bloqueo. Yeah. yeah, not a problem. That's why we are practicing. I typed it on the chat, okay? I'm okay, taking singing you. lessons. Well, that's good, right? Pretty good. Okay. So, actions happening in the moment. Now. Let's look at some examples. Let's see. Daniel, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? It's all good. Is it raining? Um, the teacher is teaching the present progressive now. The students are learning the present progressive. The students are having English class. Okay. You see, this time we're describing act actions happening right now. Okay, I am teaching the present progressive to you. You, students, are learning the present progressive right now. And we are having a class. Actions happening in the moment. Okay, let's look at how we make affirmative, negative questions, and negatives and questions. Let's see, David, maybe you can give me a hand. Affirmative, subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing plus complement. Uh, for example, I am teaching English. Okay, there you go. A subject, we usually have a pronoun. It can be a noun. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. The people, the guy, the person, the, 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 the dog, anything. The verb to be is, are, okay, am. Okay, this case with the verb and ing, right? There are some rules we follow uh, to change the structure of the verb. When we have a verb and we add ing. Uh, tenemos el verbo y se le agrega ING. Esto lo pueden trabajar ustedes en la plataforma. Allí están las reglas que se siguen a la hora de escribirlo, de cambiar eh, el verbo para hacerlo en su forma progresiva. Eh, lo pueden trabajar ustedes, ¿verdad? porque ya luego no tenemos el tiempo como para ver todo eso. Son temas que lo pueden desarrollar ustedes, ¿verdad? Por su cuenta. Hay en la plataforma y ejercicios al respecto también. Les digo para que avance también en eso. Okay. But what we have to do is we add ing. Teaching, okay. play, play. Cry, crying. Try, trying. Uh, cook, cooking. Make, making. And a compliment. Okay, let's see some examples here. Let's have Edwin, please help me read the examples. Sure. Uh, I'm 
sunbathing, sunbathing? Sunbathing. Sunbathing. I'm sunbathing at the beach. I'm drinking coffee right now. She's okay. going shopping at the moment. Exactly, right? What about you, Edwin? Do you like to drink coffee? Yes, uh, in I'm. How do you say in negative form? And um, I'm not. I'm not drinking coffee. It's I'm correct. not. Yes, I'm not drinking coffee. Ah, okay. That's how you say uh, it. Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking coffee in this now. Right now, okay. Why in not? Right now. Why? Yes. Why not? Uh, I, I'm, uh, how do you say, vengo llegando? I, oh, I, yeah, you can say it this way. Uh, okay. I will type it in the chat. Oh. I just arrived. Yes, yes, I just arrived at home. Okay, I just arrived at home, exactly. Or you can say, I just arrived home, just like that. Home, okay, yeah. thank you. Ar arrived is in the past form. There you go. Okay. So you see, okay, I'm drinking coffee right now. She's shopping at the moment. Those actions are happening right now, okay, in the moment, that moment. Okay, this is important, right? We have different uses for the present progressive. What makes the difference is the time expressions we use. This is what you have to pay attention to, okay? The time expressions. They tell you the uses of the, of the tenses. Let's look at the time expressions. Maybe, Gabriel, how's it going? Hi, good, good night. Good evening, how are you? Fine, and you, how are you? It's all great, thank you. So help me please, Gabriel, to read the time expressions we use for the present progressive when we are talking about ongoing actions. Or time actions in the present. <laughs> now, right now, at the moment, currently, at present. Okay. They all indicate a, a progressive this moment. moment. Okay, this moment. Now, right now, at this moment, currently, at the present. That's it. That indicates that we are talking about actions that are done in this moment. Great job. Okay, let's look now one example of negative sentences, as Edwin was saying, right, about negative sentences. Let's go with Tatiana, please. How do we make negative sentences? Okay, a negative subject plus verb to be plus not plus verb bear ing plus complement. Okay. For example, she's not working right now. Okay, what about you? Are you working right now? No, I'm yeah. not. That's good. <laughs> okay, so basically, what is the difference, Tatiana, between the affirmative and the negative? What's the change? The affirmative and negative. Yeah. Okay, the affirmative, the... Mm, mm, ¿Cómo puedo decir no se utiliza el not? Okay, for that, uh, we usually use the pronoun we. Okay. Uh, okay. We, um, I, I will type it in the chat. We don't use uh, not. Okay. I typed it in the chat. We don't use not. Okay, es como la forma de decir, no utilizamos not. Pero okay. para hacerlo impersonal, así como 
tal y como usted lo dijo, we can say not is not used. Ah, ok. Not, not is not used. Ok. <laughs> yeah. Not is not used. Ok. No, no se utiliza not. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, positive no is... Um, ay, yo me equivoqué con sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's better if you say we don't use not. <laughs> ok. Um, uh, and positive no is not used. Exactly. But in negative, it is used. It, it, I, it is used. Exactly. Good Thank job, right? So that's that's basically the difference, right? So in, in the negative form, uh, not is not used. And uh, in, the, in the positive form, not is not used. Now I got confused too. <laughs> Uh, and then in the negative, we use it, right? We use not. That's the only difference. The adverb not. We have some examples here of negative sentences. Let's ask Jasmine, please help me with some of them. Hello, Jasmine. I'm sorry. Uh, my, my mother is not my mother is not having breakfast at the moment. Okay. M my friends are not playing football. My uncle is not swimming now. Okay. So if we delete the not, we have affirmative sentences. My mother is having breakfast at the moment. My friends are playing football. My uncle is swimming now. So the difference is the not. My mother's not, my friends are not, my uncle is not. That's the only difference. Okay, so let's check for understanding. Edwin, how do we make negative sentences for the present progressive? Um, I'm, I am no, no interrogative. Uh, no, no, uh, negative. I'm just asking you for the previous one, the other slide. Ah. Yeah. Ah, How okay. do we make negative sentences? Uh, I'm not drinking coffee. Okay, that's one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, we only use not. That's it. Yes. I am drinking coffee. I'm not drinking coffee. Uh huh. She okay. she she is not she is not uh, driving at moment. For example, she's not driving at the moment. Exactly. There you go. Good job. Now let's look at the questions. This is the other topic, right? Let's see, David. Give me a hand, please, with the form that we use for questions. Interrogative verb to be plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark and W question plus verb to be plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Okay. So what is the difference, David, between a yes or no question? Okay, this is the structure for a yes or no question and an information question. What's the difference in the structure? In just no question, we start with the verb to be and in, okay, for information question, we start with WH question. Just that, right? The rest is the same. Okay? Let's look at some examples. It's easier that way. Okay. Daniel, help me please with reading some examples of... Okay, the first one is a yes or no question.
Hello, Daniel. Hello. Help me, please, read the examples. Okay. Um, is my mother having breakfast at the moment? Where are my friends playing football now? Are a student having class right now? What music is she listening now? Okay, so that's basically yes or no questions or information questions. Let's see. Um, let's ask Gabriel. Yes. Okay, uh, tell me, Gabriel, which ones of these are yes or no questions and which ones are information questions? Information questions. Yeah. We have two information what? questions and two yes or no questions. What music is you listening now? Okay, that is an information question or a yes or no Info question? Information question. Exactly. What about are students having class right now? Mm, so informa information question. Yeah. Okay, that one is a yes or no question. Okay. We call it yes or no question because the answer is yes or no. Are students ha having class right now? Yes, we are having class. Okay. okay. But the other one, okay, what music is she listening to? It needs information. Oh, she is listening to rap. She's listening to rock. Okay. Okay. What about where are my friends playing football? Now, is that information question or yes or no question? information question exactly you need information oh they are yeah. playing at the community's uh football court what about the last the, the other one is my mother having breakfast at the moment it is affirmative question or, or negative it is a yes or no question exactly yes or yes. no question the answer is yes or no is my mother having breakfast at the moment no she's not she is sleeping for example Okay. All right. So that's basically it. Let's see. Uh, Tatiana, what is the only difference from information questions and yes or no questions? The different. Yeah. Okay. The different. The different are in the first. Uh, in the first. Mm, Question no, no use mm, double is question. Mm -hmm. We don't use a WH word. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the second is a uh, is information question because use where where exactly. Mm -hmm. There you are. That's basically a difference. The same happens with the other, right? Are students yes. having class? What music? Is she listening to? I understand. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And we have the short form. Okay. The answers. How you answer to those. Let's look at the examples here. Edwin, can you please help me with the short answers? Okay. A question and short answer. Am I wearing a coat? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay. The second question is, are you playing? The answer, yes, you are. Or no, you aren't. Uh, the, the next question, is he or she it wearing a coat? Yes, he, she, or it is. No, he, she, it isn't. Okay. 
And, and the last question is, are we or you, they playing? Yes, we or you, they are. In the negative form is no, we, you, they aren't. Okay. Those are the short questions, right? Uh, whenever you have uh, yes or no questions, Okay, sorry, there was a lot of noise here, but my, my cats were fighting. <laughs> so yes, uh, you have yes or no questions, right? You can have also short answers, okay? Are you playing? Yes, I am. Is she working? Yes, she is. Those are the short answers, okay? Yes, I am, no, no, I'm not. Yes, you are, yes, you, no, you aren't. Yes, he is, yes, she is. No, she is. No, she isn't. And so on. Those are the short answers. Okay. All right. I think we'll just go to, we can skip this part. And now let's try to study the other use of the present progressive. Let's see. It is. How's it going? How are you? Hi, coach, perdón, yo me conecté tarde ahorita por problemas de internet y no, voy a pensar, no lo siento. Yeah, not a problem, it's okay, yeah. No, don't worry. Okay, can, can you help me here? It is, we have the, we have Ben's diary and uh, we're talking about Ben's plans. Okay. Okay. Can you help me read the, the examples here? Ah, okay. What are Ben's plans? Next Sunday, I'm playing tennis with my friends. Next month, I'm flying to New York. What are you doing next weekend? I'm going to the theater. The Así es la pronunciación. Theater. 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 To theater. The theater. I'm going to the theater. Exactly. Okay. okay, thank you. Let's see, David. Okay, what differences do you see now from the previous sentences about present continuous or present progressive and these ones? What's the difference? Are they the same or are they different? David? I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can look here. This this one's right. Okay, uh, we have. Okay, my mother's not having breakfast at the moment. Okay, we also have. Uh, okay, I'm drinking coffee right now. She's shopping at the moment. Okay, how are they different from this one's right here? I think it's not that different, but I'm not sure. Okay. So what about the action? When is the action performed? Next Sunday, I'm playing tennis with my friends. That's it right now? Uh, I, I think it's for a future. Exactly, right? We're talking about future. Next Sunday, I'm playing tennis with my friends. What about the next one, Edwin? Next month, I'm flying to New York. Are you talking about right now or the future, the past? It's in the future. In the future, right? How do you know? Yes. Uh, for he, he say next month. For the time expression, exactly, right? That is yes. what makes the difference. If you look at the tense, it's the same. It's present progressive. I'm playing tennis with my friends. I'm flying to New York. I'm going to, to the theater. 
the time expression makes the difference. It changes from talking right now to talking about the future. Okay. Let's see here. We have a uh, at one example here. Let's see. Maybe uh, Jasmine, maybe you can help me read the example. Okay. Um, Tom Tom wants you to visit him, but you are very busy. Busy. Look at your daily for. Look at your daily for the next few days and explain to him why you can't come. Okay. So it says that Tom wants you to visit him. Right. You are busy. You look at your diary. So your diary, right? You have your diary here, like the agenda, right? And. Uh, for the next few days, explain to him, you can't come, okay? We have activities for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday. Friday is free, but uh, and Saturday and Sunday too. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with uh, Gabriel. Hi. Okay. The first question says, okay, Tom is asking you, can you come on Monday evening? And, the, and it says, sorry, but I, okay. The and diary says Monday. Monday I, I'm Monday. playing volleyball at 1.30 p.m. Okay, uh, can you repeat it, please? Sorry, but I I'm playing volleyball one one third p.m. Exactly right. Sorry, but I'm playing volleyball at one thirty p.m. Okay, so that sentence, Gabriel, is right now or in the future? In the future. Exactly right. So now we have two uses for the present progressive actions happening right now. Like I'm talking. Okay, Edwin is swinging on the hammock, I think. What is that? Is that a hammock? No, it's, ah. a, it's a chair. Ah, yeah. in, in your back, it looks like a, it's a curtain, I think. A curtain. Ah, it's a curtain. Yeah, it's a curtain. That's why yes. it, look, it looks like a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> so he, but he's swinging in the chair. Action's happening right now, right? Yes. But we, we can also use it for the future. Right? I'm playing volleyball at 1.30. The future actions. Okay? How do you know the difference? The time expressions. Okay, let's look for another one. Let's see. Daniel, what about the second one? Okay, now Tom is asking, what about Tuesday evening then? Okay, you cannot come on Monday. So now he's asking about Tuesday evening. Okay. Um, now, not Tuesday. I work late till 9 p.m. Okay. No, not Tuesday. I work or I'm working late. I, I work in late. I am. Remember, I am. We always use the verb be. We don't say she working or I working or he playing. No, right? We need to use the verb be. I am working. She is working tomorrow. She is cooking right now. Okay. He is dancing. Okay. So repeat it again, Daniel. No, not Tuesday. I. No. Not this day. I working late till 9 p.m. Okay, I am working late till 9 p.m. Okay, I'm I'm working late. Yeah, 
So we always use the verb to be, okay? So what about that one, Daniel? Is it right now? Are you working right now or are you, you're talking about the future? Sorry, can you repeat, yeah. please? This sentence. No, not Tuesday. I'm working till 9 p.m. The action is happening right now or in the future? Um, in the future. Exactly, right? If you say, I'm working right now, then it's right now. Right? I'm working right now, just like that. Okay, Edwin, the next one, it says, Tom is asking now. Um, Wednesday evening. Okay, and Wednesday evening, unfortunately. You say uh, unfortunately. 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 Okay, and when and Wednesday evening, unfortunately not. I'm. I am visit the, the theater. Okay, I am visit or I am visiting? I am visiting the theater. Okay, remember we always add ing. Okay. You can see here. In this case, they use going, but it's the same, right? I am going, uh, I am visiting. It's the same. I am okay. going to the theater. I am visiting the theater. Always using ing. Okay, okay. In this case, I'm going to the theater is right now or in the in the future? Uh, in the future. The future, exactly, right? Okay. okay. You're talking about Wednesday. Probably today is Sunday, right? Talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days in the future. Yes. Okay, let's see the last one. Um, Tatiana, help me please with the next, with the last one. Okay, the last one is, well, are you free on Thursday? I'm free not. I meet, meeting Julia at 8 p.m. Okay, I'm meeting. Julia, or I'm going to meet. Ah, yeah, it's future. Sure. The answer is, is in future. Yes, exactly. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Not a problem. Okay. okay. Uh, again. Okay. Well, are you free on Thursday? I'm free not. I'm going to meet Julia. I'm meeting Julia at 8 p.m. Okay, you see, we can use the present progressive to talk about the future too. I'm afraid not. I'm meeting Julia at 8 p.m. That sentence, uh, Tatiana, I am meeting Julia at 8 p.m. is happening right now or in the future? It's in a future? In the future, right? Yeah. And this is what makes the difference, the time expressions. Okay, by the way, I'm afraid not. That's an expression, right? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid significa como tengo miedo por sí solo, ¿verdad? Tengo miedo, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. Pero cuando se utiliza con esta expresión como I'm afraid not, es como me temo que no. Okay. okay. Estás libre el jueves. Me temo que no. I'm afraid not. I am afraid not. Okay. Pero por sí solo, I'm afraid. I am afraid. Significa tengo miedo. Okay. I am not afraid. Es, no tengo miedo. I am afraid not. Me temo que no. Okay, three different expressions. Okay. So, yeah, I think, okay, just look at the time expressions here. Let's see. It is. Can you help me read the time expressions for the present progressive in the future? Future time expression. Future time expression. Okay. Uh, solo leerlas todas, ¿verdad? Yeah, please. 
Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, afternoon, evening. This weekend. Next weekend. Next Monday or next Friday. In two days, in three weeks, tonight. There you go. Okay. This is what makes the difference between the present progressive for actions happening right now and present progressive for future actions. The time expressions. For actions happening right now. Now, right now, at the moment, okay, currently, future expressions tomorrow, next weekend, next week, okay, in two days, in three days, tonight, this weekend, tomorrow afternoon, and so on. Let's try to put this into practice a little bit. Just give me one second. Okay. Let us try to practice this in the last minutes that we have. Okay, we are working on unit three. Okay. Significa que eh, ya pudieron haber hecho el examen uno y dos, de la unidad uno y dos, ¿verdad? Ahora estamos en la tres. Que eh, la unidad empieza con What are you doing? Clothing, vocabulary. Vocabulario de vestimenta. Eh, Vocabulario para utilizar. ¿Qué estás vistiendo? ¿Qué estás usando? Ok. Luego lo de la gramática empieza desde el 3.2.1. 3.2.1. Present Continuous Grammar. Ok, let's see. So here, you have the explanation. Okay, aquí está la explicación. Como se hace pregunta, lo que hemos estado viendo. So, this is about the verb to be. Okay, let's see. Let's have, um, let's see. Jasmine, help me please with this one. His brothers are, is playing golf. Are. Okay. His brothers, exactly. You're talking about two people. It's plural. It's plural. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Edwin, Tim and Tom. Yes. T Tim and Tom are sleeping. Exactly. Tim and Tom are sleeping. Okay. Gabriel, my hamster is running. Good job. It is her dogs. Hello, it is. Hey, maybe she's busy. Daniel, help me please with this one. Her dogs. Um, her dogs are barking. Her dogs are barking. Exactly. Good job. All right. Let's see the next one. Okay. Tatiana, the woman is or are looking at me. Hello? Sorry? The woman, the woman are looking at me. Okay. Woman is singular or plural? Plural. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What is the plural of woman? Woman. Women. Ah, women. <laughs> yeah. In this case, it's singular. Okay. Woman is one. Ah, okay. okay. Women, I will type it in the chat. There's one difference in the vowel. You have uh, the... change the letter. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Como, uh, uh -huh. Hay plurales, plurales que son regulares. 
Ah, ok. Que, que cambian agregándole S, tal y como pasa en el español también. Eh, como ah, ok. Club, clubs. Right. Okay. Eh, class, classes. Pero hay otros que son irregulares, como en el caso uh -huh. de woman. Woman is one. Women, two or more. Man, uno. Ok. Men, two or more. Okay. We have, yeah. There you go. Let's see. David, what about number six? Those women are is dancing. Claro. Exactly, right? In this case, that's the plural form of woman. Women. Okay. Edwin, the, uh, our friends is our... Our friends are singing. There you go. And uh, let's see. Teacher, I, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what does mean the word barking? Uh, barking. Mm -hmm. Do you have dogs? Yes. So your dog barks. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. La ladrar. <laughs> exactly, that's barking. At night, your dog starts barking to the people around. Ah, uh, okay. Exactly. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Jasmine, what about number eight? The mice. Number eight. Is what, is the meaning, what is the meaning of mice? I don't know what, what is. Mice is the plural of mouse. Ah. The mouse is one. Uh, uh, mice mouse. is two or more. Mm -hmm. Is are the mice are eating cheese. Exactly. The mice are eating cheese. Okay. That's mouse, mice. Okay. Este es otro ejemplo de plurales irregulares. No siguen ningún tipo de regla. Solamente hay que tratar de familiarizarse con ellos. The mouse, the mice are eating cheese. Mouse, mice. Man, uh, man, man. Woman, women. Fish, fish. Sheep, sheep. Hay otros que no cambian su raíz en la totalidad como fish. Fish es fish en singular y fish en plural también. Sheep, oveja, también es sheep en plural. Deer, siervo, también es deer en plural. Siguen la misma, eh, la misma palabra, no cambia. There's no change. Okay, that's the one for the present progressive. Okay, aquí donde les decía, esos ejercicios los pueden realizar cada quien por su cuenta. Leen las reglas, okay, cuando el verbo termina en S, se elimina y se le agrega ING. Cuando el verbo termina en doble E, okay, cuando siguen el patrón de consonant, vowel, consonant, esto lo pueden estudiar, ok, de cuenta propia. Cuando hay eh, verbo de una sola sílaba con dos vocales, eh, todos los spelling rules, y hay ejercicios al respecto también. Ok, ok, it says here. Ok, there are 10 exercises, but we will not go with this. 3.24. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's try to practice the present for future arrangements. Okay. Present continuous for future plans and for future arrangements. So this is what we were practicing here. Okay. The instruction says, answer if the statements are happening right now or in the future. Okay, que elijan si los, eh, las oraciones están pasando en este momento o en el futuro. Vamos a practice this. Okay, let's start. Edwin, my boss is meeting Mark right now so he can talk to you. It's now. It's now, right? Okay, yes. you, you can tell by the expression right now. Right now. There you go. And okay. the word meeting. Exactly, right? There you go. 
It is. What about the next one? Martin's daughter is starting university next week. Is it now or in the future? Is the future. Good job. Exactly. Okay, David. William's moving to Hawaii next year. It's in the future. There you go. So you see, now you have different options to talk about the future. Not only you can use, not only can you use will, but also you can use the present progressive. No solamente pueden utilizar will para el futuro. También pueden utilizar el presente progresivo. I have a question. Yeah, go uh, ahead. The, the present con progressive and continue are the same topic. Yeah, they're oh. the same. Yeah. Okay. You have, they have different nouns. Progressive, continuous. It's the same. Uh, and basically for any other tense, you have present perfect continuous, present perfect progressive. Past perfect continuous, past perfect progressive. You will listen to the two types. It's the same. Okay, Tatiana, Roger is having dinner with Lindsay tomorrow night. It's the future. Yes, good job. Gabriel, last one. Alice is taking a shower because she has to go to school. It's now. Great job. Exactly. And the last exercise. Let's see. Uh, it's Daniel. Asia is going to the store at the moment. Is now. Good job. Jasmine, Marvin's traveling to Europe next weekend. Okay, maybe not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> if you true. <laughs> exactly. Edwin, the last one. David's washing the dishes right now. Is now. Okay. Good job, David. You're washing the dishes. Continue doing that. Okay, so this is the present continuous for it. Present uh, actions right now or future actions. Okay. Sugiero que eh, continúen con los demás ejercicios, ¿ok? Nosotros nos saltamos unos cuantos, pero los demás son tareas suyas. Hay de ejercicios en, para preguntas, para negativos, para afirmativos, para, for actions happening right now, y también hay más para actions happening in the future, ¿ok? Tomorrow we have a, a different class, a different use for the present progressive, ¿ok? Un uso diferente también del presente progresivo. That's for tomorrow. In the meantime, this is today's class. Thank you for joining everybody and have a good night. Thank you very much. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care.